What's going on, everybody here, and welcome back to some more Sons of the Forest. So, in the last episode, we did our first 30-ish. We did our first look at the game. These cases are back. It's fantastic. I love it. Uh, but today, we're going to continue on moving along, doing things, doing stuff, and talk about some stuff that I've learned. So, um, yeah, hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having an absolutely wonderful day. No complaints here. But, um, yeah, so uh, these crates are respawning every time, and I don't remember that being a thing every time you logged in, but hey, I'm not throwing a fit. I'm going to grab them every single time I can because uh, free stuff is good stuff. And let's go ahead and let's talk about progression here a little bit because I, um, like I said, I did play a little bit of multiplayer, kind of kind of sat down and played a little bit of a session here and tried to figure some things out. So what we've got going on is we have a map and in that map there's a there's a, like there's a cave highlighted here We got some points of interest and then there's like a green highlighted dot. So we're gonna go check out the green highlighted dot thing today Because um, we need to check that out because there's there's cool things to be associated with it But then uh, the cave systems I've only been in one cave system so far and it took me an hour and a half to get through it And that was with another person so I'm a little bit worried about getting in this cave system right away because I need a lot of materials. We need a lot of food. We need a lot of water. We need um, and some other things like that. So, and obviously, if you've noticed, we don't have a backpack, or we don't we don't have a backpack. We don't have a uh, we don't have a canteen of any sort. So, wait, where did I get these? Where did I get this printer resin? Did I get that out of a? Uh... Huh. I'm actually curious. Um, so that's kind of a, a thing, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's start off with, um, let's get some things done around the, let's see. We have a spear. We need some food. These are not dried yet. I'm actually going to go ahead and take one and we're going to cook it. So let's go ahead and throw that down into to get cooked. Don't you dare take that Kelvin. I'm watching you. He will take your food, just so you know. Just like be forewarned, he will absolutely steal your food right out from the campfire, right out the, underneath you. He's 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 a jerk like that. You know what? Actually, let's go send him to do something. Let's have you. Um, I want you to go get sticks and fill the holder. So I'm gonna send him out to go get sticks. He's gonna fill that um that stick holder right there. Hey, there we go. Okay, so cooked meat. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and eat that. That'll help our food. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead, since he's doing the stick holder, let's go and get some things done too. Let's get uh, let's get some more planters going. And then we'll go uh, we'll go do some a little bit of explorational stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these. Now each one of these is 18 sticks, but um, I've noticed that sticks are not really that hard to come across in this game. And we actually have quite a few different types of plants that we can grow, which is really nice. All right, so that one's done. Let's go ahead and grab these. All right, let's see what we got for uh, plant-wise. So we got blueberries there. What are these? So we got more blueberry seeds. Let's go ahead and just use those. Um, there are multiple different types of plants and there's multiple, yeah. Hey, you got some sticks, bud. Good job. Proud of you. <gasps> Proud of you. Let's go get some, uh, let's go get some more things here. All right, so there's another garden. Let's go and get this one going. So basically he will keep going until this thing is full. Even if I keep st stealing stuff out of it, he'll just go to town on it. Um, so yeah, you're gonna go to town on that. You know what, should we? Let's see what we have. I don't really have enough plants yet. So there's different types of, of pastes and things we can make out of different plants. Uh, let's see if I hit, see I can't combine those, but I can eat these. And I have like way more than I need right now. I wish there was a way to eat more of them at a time. These things do absolutely like next to nothing for your food, but. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get into the forest. Let's go look around, see if we can find some new plants. Uh, we'll let him, uh, we'll let him gather all the sticks up here. Like I said, there is that cave right there. I'm a little bit worried about going into that cave though, because like I said, the last, the first cave we went into, it took an hour and a half to get through. It was terrible. It was such a long, okay, so we got some yarrow, um, but there's so many different types of plants that we can collect. It's actually really cool. And I'm hoping that I get some yarrow seeds as well. Oh, there's a whole bunch here. Holy moly. Oh yeah, we got some we got some seeds for sure. 
And we're full on that. Okay. What is this? So we got a web there. Can't do anything with that. We cannot make rope, unfortunately. It is a picked up item. It is a collected item. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Um, I mean, it's up there. Should we start working out? Let's kind of work our way up towards there. I think we can take out the uh, uh, salmon berries. Oh, fantastic. If I get some salmon berry seeds too, that'd be great. I think we could take out the guys this time. Because I don't, I don't think we'll have an issue with it. Ooh, here's a new flower type. Ooh, yes, arrow leaf seeds collected too. Fantastic. So we'll grab those. Um, and the reason that I'm, the reason that I'm looking for these different types of plants and these seeds is so hopefully we can, um, we can plant them, get a whole bunch of them stocked up, because we can make different types of pastes. We can make healing pastes. We can make energy pastes, things like that. Because we have, um, we have energy. Oh, is that aloe? Yes. Aloe vera collected. Fantastic. Is there any more? Really? Is it just that one aloe plant? Just one random sad aloe plant? No, darn. Okay. Uh, because there's different types of paste and things like that. And we have energy this time. So I don't remember. Oh. There's a half naked uh, person there. You know what? It's really weird that they're walking like that. Huh. I think we should go kill him. I think we're going to take him out. So I'm not going to lie. One thing I kind of, I kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of terrible, but I like how easy it is to set up a fire anywhere. <laughs> like I can just set those there and light it. And then we can burn a uh, body. Um, so we took that one out. That one has um, um, upper appendages. So <laughs> not, maybe not the most appropriate thing. We're going to go ahead and take care of the body, though. I mean, I feel terrible for, like, burning these bodies. Like, who's the real monster here? Is it me? Or is it these guys? Like, this guy, this person, this poor person was just walking along. And I'm just, like, come up behind him, stab him. And, like, oh, I know. It's terrible. I'm terrible. I mean, they were going to try to eat my face, though. So. All right. Bones are collected. We're good. Let's go. Rolling on forward. You know, wasn't the uh, wasn't that camp right up here? Oh, there's like a trough right there. Do you see that? What is that? Let's go check this bad boy out. Okay. Oh my god, it's a chair. Oh, that's disgusting. What is in here? Ugh. Uh, yep. Okay, so we already. You know what? We're, let's go. Let's take him out. We already took out one of them. Hey, buddy. Yep. Nope. You're going down. You're going down. Oh my god. Man, this place is nasty. Whoo, this place is nasty, nasty. All right, let's get another fire going. <laughs> All right, we got to bur burn the evidence. Or we don't want them coming back to life. I, well, you know what? This is the, <laughs> they're cannibals. <laughs> they're not zombies. All right. Um, well, let me grab my... Uh, we got some rope here, finally. That's fantastic. Rope collected. Oh, very nice. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, there's a oh, there's a motor here. That's a little Evan Root or something. Uh, oh, more rope. Fantastic. We can make some things. Oh, a skin pouch. Oh, that's disgusting. Check this. You want to see something nasty? <laughs> Look at this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Look at that. Oh, it's disgusting. Ugh, it's so nasty. Oh. Uh, duct tape some coins and some wire disgusting is that cloth oh my gosh we got some cloth okay i feel like there's definitely some more emphasis on the um you know what let's actually let's pull out the axe here can we break some of this stuff down 
Oh, fantastic. That's I want to break all this stuff down. I don't want any of this. Oh. Ooh, more cloth. Uh, some more tarps. That is fantastic. The uh, the little camps are super easy to make, which is super nice. Is that a bat on a stick? And, like, look at there's like money. Hey, you never know when we might need money. This is just disgusting. My God. Uh, skulls. Oh my God! What the heck? That dude had an auger. What? Oh, he picked up the motor. Okay, hold on. We're gonna wait for him to get away. My stuff is over there. Okay, hold on. All right. Good enough. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need to grab my bag real quick, and I need to get my spear out, and we gotta take this guy out. He's using a freaking boat motor to hit me. Oh snap! There's another one. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Run, 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 run. Okay, yeah. hold on. Take those. I, I don't know if things pause while I'm in here. I'm really hoping that they do, though. Okay, we got some medication. That dude's got a boat motor. Oh, I don't think so, guy. I want to throw this at his face so bad. Oh, this dude is like a big guy. Okay, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. No, there's another one. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Okay. All right. Oh my God. This is not good. No! Oh my god. Okay. Take a pill. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by multiple people. Oh, we got him. Why can't I use the boat motor? Oh my God, there's so many of them. I want to use the boat motor. Oh, geez. You know what? Maybe we should just get out of here. No, I need to heal up again. Let's get it healed up. Die. Oh my God. Holy moly. You know what? Maybe we should really should just leave. How are you still alive? Oh, somebody else got me. Did I, was I alive long enough to respawn or am I dead dead this time? Oh my God, we're dead dead and I haven't saved. No, all the loot that I lost. I don't even know what attack. It had to be one of those crawling guys. Well, that is an absolute bummer. All right, let's do it again. Okay, so I think we're gonna go in a little bit smarter this time. I'm gonna go ahead and grab, um, I wanna grab a bird and some feathers. Grab these feathers. 
Give me all those. And the reason I want um, feathers is because we're going to make a bow and arrow. As soon as we get some rope, we're going to go ahead and make a bow and arrow. I love how you can get feathers so nicely. All right, let's go ahead and we'll throw these on the drying rack. That works perfect. What do we got here? Oh, those are some kind of seeds or something. All right, and then let's see. I don't think I have any rope at all. Yeah, so I can't make a bow. I can make, however, um, some sticks. Pretty sure if I throw one, two, one, two, what else do I need? Arrow, four stones. So that'll get us some arrows at the ready. And then I could probably go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do another set. Two, three, four, and then one, two. What else do we need? Probably two feathers, one, two. And then hopefully if we get, um, find some rope, then we can go ahead and get a bow and then do some distance damage. Cause that would be nice. All right. We should be good. And I don't think we can craft any other armor without cloth. I also, you know, we also have this shirt right here. This tactical jacket. Like, but it doesn't do anything. We click on it, it doesn't do anything. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, oh, do we have a bone storage thing yet either? Oh, maybe I should tell him to collect sticks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to tell you to get sticks and fill holder. Now I'm not bringing him into combat with me because I don't think I've ever seen him actually do anything beneficial in combat. <laughs> I know, I know, it's terrible, but I've never seen it. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take these people out. Oh, we were so close. I should have. I should have just backed off. I should have backed off and healed up. But oh well. Now we know about the guy with the uh, the freaking boat motor. Okay, so there's the boat motor guy right there. There's somebody else. You know, let's go this way. I want to try taking him out. I want to try taking him out at uh, individually. But I think one of them yells and calls in like the other dudes. Take you out real fast. Okay. Oh shoot. There's another one. Oh, we got rope though. Okay. So we have rope. So what I could do is I go ahead and I could craft, um, this no, hold on. We gotta be quick craft. What's the, uh, what's the bow crafted bow tape and two sticks tape, two sticks craft that and equip. And I'm going to go ahead and just, we're going to, now, hitting this guy is going to be very interesting. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh! What? Ooh, in the face, my friend! Okay, hold on. Let's get, uh... Too slow. Too slow. And we got our arrows back. I want that motor. Okay. All right. We're good. See, see how much better things go when you're prepared. Like when you know what's going to happen much better. Okay. We're going to, we're going to get rid of all this stuff though. We're going to tear this all down. What if we could burn it all down? Now let's go ahead and just grab everything and get out of here.
Uh oh. There's another screamer. Where are you? Okay, they can't come up behind me. Oh, right there. They're way up there. Okay, maybe they're not coming down here. That rope. Okay, everything looks good here. Let's go ahead. Let's destroy everything. We're gonna get out the axe, and we're just gonna go to town on. That's disgusting. <laughs> Can I light? Oh my God, there's one. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, hold on. Can I light this on fire? Man, I'd love to be able to light that on fire. There's one, there's one. You know what? Maybe we should head back. To our base place. Trying to get rid of these effigies and everything. I see you there. All right, they're going down. Oh, they're taking a front end. Come on, fight me. Oh, there's two of them? Oh, shoot. Whoa! They climbed up a tree. All right, another one down. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a naked, naked poop walker. I call them naked poop walkers because it looks like they have poop smeared all over them. Yeah, you're going down too. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. We do got we still have a couple poop walkers over here. I think we need to start a fire up. I think we need to start a big old bonfire and get these bodies burning. What the heck is going on? Those guys keep like falling down. Okay, let's do it. Uh let's get a let's get a fire going. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gotta get my spear back out. All right, where is... Oh, Big Muscle Man disappeared already. Okay. Those two are going to be gone. Whew. That was spicy. Oh, you know what? We got to go take that thing out over there. This stuff, this is this just can't sit here like this. This is disgusting. Uh, I am not sitting in that. That's gross. Ugh. Not doing it. Where? Way over there? Okay. All right, I think we're good. Collect whatever bones I can here, and that's it. Let's go ahead and let's head back. So we got some rope. We got some cloth. Uh, I mean, that was, that was a good little hole. Definitely need flowers though. I dropped all my flowers when we died. <laughs> I need seeds. Okay, so we got some seeds there. I don't know where the aloe was. Oh, you know what? Actually, while we're up here, let's grab some water. Definitely need some water. And then I think we might be able to make it to the... Um, this is, uh, see, let's go up here where the water's actually flowing down. I think we might actually be able to make it to that green dot. All right, so I've noticed to drink water, it's easier to have something other than the spear equipped. <laughs> if you have the spear equipped, it seems like it's really, really buggy. All right, so we're good there. 
haven't seen the lady yet. Oh, so I saw a comment on the last video. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> telling me to have Miss Z join the game and that she could go into the water and explore the <laughs> explore the helicopters because we know how much she loves uh, water and sharks and stuff. Uh, there are absolutely sharks in this game. Um, 100% there are sharks in the water. Sharks in the water for sure. Like with without a doubt, sharks in the water. So um, sometimes if you're actually looking out, you can actually see a shark jump out of the water. It's kind of scarily crazy um okay where is oh you're bringing firewood back still good job man or you're bringing back sticks man look at that stick holder that is a wonderful stick holder okay so now oh man now that we did that let's go ahead and let's take a breather here so we've got um some cloth we've got some rope what things can we make now so we can make a repair tool a torch a crafted club bone armor see bone armor to me sounds like i don't the problem with me is i i don't know if the armor lasts um i know like the armor that you get from like you know plants and stuff like that like it, it goes away as it, it breaks down and i just don't know that using our little bit of rope that we do have is such a great idea for using the rope you know what i mean like is is the bone armor really the way to go here i don't know i think the torch might honestly be the way to go. But I mean the club might be good too, but I don't you know, I don't know. Not hundred percent sure. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's get some more planters back up, like <laughs> like I had before. Um and then I'm a little bit worried because I was watching the on the trailers it definitely shows people getting like attacked like their camps getting attacked which is like the reason for the walls so I'm a little bit worried about doing too much uh and like causing things to come after us but you know I don't know how that whole mechanic works so all right so let's get this built let's get this one built I'm gonna try putting different plants in each one of these for now all right so like see do I have any oh perfect okay so we have arrow leaf seeds we can throw in there so we've got blueberry arrow leaf so far blueberry there's yarrow oh salmon berry let's do salmon berry and let's go ahead and get another one for yarrow now i'm hoping that once we plant these that they stay and that we don't like destroy them every single time um okay let's get one more planter going and then we'll go ahead and plant uh what is this one the yarrow here so we should have like one of each plant and then we also we don't have a um we don't have a bone collector or bone holder yet, so we need to get that going. Bone storage. Go ahead and get that. Because we have a bunch of bones. Perfect. Now, from there... Um, I'm trying to think if we should try to even get to the... You know what? We're going to get to the green dot in the next episode. We're going to, uh, we're going to just work on our camp here a little bit. I'm thinking maybe we'll sleep. Maybe we'll get, cause like, so we have, we have stick, um, we have stick fences, but I don't feel like a stick fence. is going to really work that great. You know what I mean? A small log cabin would be cool. Like a nice little pre-built thing. A lean to a lookout tower they do have the um we do have the tree platforms tree shelter so we have like tree shelter okay so i'm thinking we might need to set up some kind of defenses here and i actually really want to play with these defenses because they're um they're kind of wait do we have any meat in our we have a meal we have an energy drink i don't want to consume any of that right now um, okay. Grab one of those. The, the building in this game is quite neat. So, um, they, before, I think how it was before, was you basically had your plans that you have like this, right? Well, now it's kind of almost like a freeform building where, where you can build stuff your, however you want. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Um, as soon as this food gets done. <laughs> Oh, are y'all done? Are you kidding me, dude? 
Dude, you're on fire. What? Why? Why you do that? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and eat this meat real quick. And then I want to go grab some logs. And actually, if I tell him, oh, he's still going after sticks. Maybe you know what? Let's tell him to get logs. Let's see what happens if we tell him to get logs. Will he just pick up logs or? Hey, hold on. I want you to get logs. And drop here. All right, I want to see what ha I want to see how this works. Now, okay. What the heck? Uh, dude, you're smashing the salmon berries. So there's no logs over here. Is he going to go look for logs or is he just going to rip a tree out of the ground? <laughs> I want to see what happens. Oh, he has an ax. No way. Oh, he's 10 times more useful than I thought he was. All right, well, we're going to we're going to cut down trees, too. And we're going to start working on a, uh, a perimeter, I think. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, you do have to be careful because uh, these logs will if your base is under where they fall, it will actually absolutely destroy your base. Okay, so now what I what I mean by you can kind of like build and place how you want is if I look at the ground, so like right here, this is telling me I'm going to build a laying down structure. Now I can flip it to where it'll stick the post straight up out of the ground like that, which is kind of what I want to do, but I want to make sure I can build it everywhere. Okay, so if I if I started wanting to build like around over here somewhere. And this is the other thing. Do I want to lay them this way or do I want to have them this way to start with? You know what? Let's, let's try this. Let's put one down and we just stuff it in the ground like that. And then you'll see that it gives you an angle to which it'll connect. So like if I put that there, now can I grab another log and place it in the middle? So I can place it on the top. Hmm. I can't place it on the middle though. Jarn. Okay. I mean, I can place it right next to it. I was hoping that I could place it in the middle right here and then it would stop people from coming in. But it looks like in order to do that, we're going to have to place it. Uh, lengthwise kind of like this and I also don't know if there's a way to take them out of the ground once you do it I mean we could we could do this my problem is you know how many logs that's gonna take if we just stack these up line by line like that, that would take forever. Actually, if we look at our book. Oh, remove a place structure by holding C. Oh, it heard me. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So now if I wanted to do something, I could lay it like this instead. So we could do that. Oh, geez. Okay. There you go, guy. And I can lay it right on top here like this. But that's kind of how you make a wall. Like a sh like a, a house. Are you kidding me? Dude, you just broke our save. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, guy. I'm going to have to tell this guy to bring him somewhere else. You're going to come over here. Come here.
All right, we're gonna redo this. Um, get logs and drop here. Huh. So we've got um, different types of walls. So we've got a fence here, which we could use with sticks. And then a the floor here. Um, this is the wall. This is kind of what we were doing. So you could place, oh, I guess we could play, we had to place a floor down first. Door, window, single step, um, basic beams, roof, struts, stairs, ramp, defensive wall. So yeah, it's telling me, boom, place these straight up and then I can use the ax on these and make them pointed and then put a, put a log behind them to make it, ah, uh, I mean, do I want to go that far right now? And I feel like if I do, yeah, that's a lot of logs. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have like literally an entire forest right here though. Yeah, I almost feel like we should, uh, I feel like we should almost work on the fence first because I feel like if we're going to get attacked, it's going to be based on like what kind of structures we have built. And if we start with a defensive wall, like that's a good start, you know, I feel like it's a really good start. I kind of want to see how this wall looks. So I'm going to go ahead and use these and we're going to see if we can get one wall completely done. All right, now do I place it? Okay, so now how do I, how do I ax the tops? Oh. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, we got a thunderstorm. Oh, we got a nasty thunderstorm coming in. Okay, so now how do I... Oh, wow, this is really, really strong thunderstorm. Uh, let's see. Is that something I'm placing a lo one long ways? I place it on the one side or the other? Or how does this work? Maybe it's not finished? I mean, the wall's coming up nicely. It's actually really not taking all that long to do. You know, this... So like it it does take a while it does take a while but it's actually not that bad like it could definitely be worse so that's a lot of logs but i mean if we could get this whole base surrounded then i could actually build like a little structure in here because what i i honestly i think what i want to do is i don't really see the point in, ha in having like anything super crazy but i was thinking about having like a uh I think this small log cabin would be pretty cool. I mean, it's, it is small. Logs, planks, logs, logs, logs. Like it is a really small thing, but I mean like realistically, how much room do we really need? You know, I can always start off with that. It is 75 logs though. I think is what it said, like 75 logs total. So <laughs> it is quite a few. You know what? I'm honestly thinking maybe, <laughs> Maybe instead of building this base here, maybe we should look around because if I found like the edge of a cliff kind of like where we were I could only have to I don't really only have to build a wall on like one side of it You know and if we had a cliff on the, every other side, they wouldn't be able to get up and down it So um, I think we're gonna leave the wall alone as it is I think we're gonna leave it right where it sits and then I think we're gonna actually end the episode there um, Because we did some things we got some stuff. I need some. Uh, oh, I need ugh, I gotta sleep. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry um I need food. We need a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to end the episode there. Next episode, I think what we're going to do, we might actually go out and look for a perfect pace, place to build a base. And I'm going to tell this guy to leave these logs alone. Well, you know what? I don't even care. He, he can keep going on them. Um, because if we can find a better place to build that we maybe only have to protect, like, you know, if we the one side, then that'd be a lot easier defensive wise. Yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.